Hey guys, Moran Pober here with another video and today I'm going to show you how a business owner will sell his business to you and only you. So hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Moran Pober and this video is all about how to buy and grow businesses and mostly doing it by acquisitions and going and buying other companies and having ideally someone to manage those day to day for us, to operate them for us uh, because we want to go out there and buy more businesses um, and yeah, definitely this is my place to, to share and document my journey and I hope you enjoy it. I try to upload daily videos and see the description below an option to literally fill a survey and let me know your biggest questions because I need ideas for videos and yeah, just, just let me know in the, in the description below. So if it's the first video that you're watching in this channel, me, I'm, I'm all about going out there and buying existing business that already making businesses that already making money and income from can bring you income from day one literally i think it's much less risky than starting a business from scratch or doing a startup the the risk of starting a business is so much higher and just most businesses fail unfortunately especially in the first few years so we go to businesses we literally skip that startup phase and go to businesses that exist many times for five or ten years at least and we go and buy very stable and consistently profitable businesses so Obviously, if you're watching this, uh, I'm assuming you're out there, going out there, talking to business owners, or at least thinking about the idea of going out there and buying businesses. And the question comes to, to mind is now, okay, let's say you're talking to business owners, you, you're starting to make offers. What makes you different than anyone else? And why would someone will sell the business to you versus let's say someone is coming in and making a similar offer. What can you do to make sure that someone will sell the business to you and not to someone else? And obviously there's a stage where you're making an offer and you want to start to do your due diligence. And if you're talking about bigger deals, those due diligence costs can come to six figures in fees. So the question is when and how much are we going to spend in due diligence uh, before we making sure, like how are we going to spend now six figures in fees before we know 100% that the seller wants to sell the business only to us? Like what are we going to do to make sure that we're not going to spend six figures in fees for accountants and lawyers and then the seller will go and sell the business to someone else? So what can we do to make sure that we are safe and we're ready? And that's where exclusivity come into the table. We don't want to go out there and spend a lot of money, even if it's on a success fees, fees and you're only paid to your advisors if and when you close the deal. You don't want to get those costs up and pay a lot of money for deals that you're not going to close or have control of closing. That's why exclusivity in your deals is so important. And the way it works that if you're sending an offer that the owner is willing to accept, the seller is willing to accept, the next stage in the process is you want to sign an LOI. It's basically a letter of intent. And it's really, really important because that's where exclusivity comes to mind. And that's where you agree on the fact that you and only you have the option to buy the business for at least a specific period of time. And we'll expand on LOI more in the future. But one of the most important things you can do in that agreement is that you know that the seller will work with you and only you for the exclusivity period that you agree on in the LOI. Because if the owner is not certain that he want to sell the business uh, to you specifically, you just don't want to spend a lot of money and time into doing your due diligence on a deal. And you want to make sure that you both on the same page and the same track to sell and buy the business. And you can check some of my other videos on how to make sure that we're not paying six figures in fees to accountants and lawyers and we only pay them if and when the deal is being done. It's basically a success fee basis and you're only paying them if and when the deal is being done. Otherwise, you can pay a lot of fees to those advisors and trust me, you don't, you don't want to do that. Like I know a company that bankrupt just by paying too much fees on too much due diligence that they did on too many deals that they didn't close. Because think about it, a, a, a nice, a good deal, like business that's doing a few millions a year in sales, your fees for accountants and lawyers for due diligence can come to six figures in fees. And there's only so many six figures to different deals that you can do. I don't care how much money you have. That sums, those money are getting pumped up to a lot of money in the end of the day. And if you're not making sure you have those things aligned and ready to pay for, ideally from the business you're buying, you just literally making big, big mistakes here because you, you just don't want to risk yourself that much. You want to make sure that you're only get paid for those advisors even when you close the deal and you want to make sure you have that capital to pay for those fees from the businesses that you're buying. Now, what I find interesting is that most sellers, when they're about to sell their business, 
even after they agree on selling the business to you, they are getting a bit surprised from the fact that it's going to take a, a bit of time to actually close the deal. And I'm talking sometimes a few months, uh, but usually at least six to eight weeks where the buyer, you as the buyer is coming into the business and do your, your due diligence. That's why you need to understand, even if when you're making an offer on a business and you're getting a yes on the other, from the other side, from the seller, that doesn't mean 100% that you're going to buy the business because that's where your real work starts with yourself, your accountants, your lawyers and other advisors to making sure that the deal is really the deal that you thought it is. And that's why it's going to take you at least a few weeks to do your financial due diligence, your legal due diligence, uh, your financial institutions and partners are going to do their due diligence. And only when everything is aligned and everyone can basically say, hey, this is the deal we thought we were buying, that's where you close the deal. And also in the LOI, you're basically proposing or giving a date where you assume that you're basically going to complete the deal. And that's part of the exclusivity. You basically have an exclusivity to do your due diligence and work on that deal, you and only you. And he can't basically go to a different buyer and sell the business to him while you're signing exclusivity. He can't go, and even if you're getting a better offer in that period, he can't go out there and go and negotiate the deal with someone else as soon as he signed the exclusivity with you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Remember, with all of your deals, after you're getting an offer accepted, go into LOI and make sure you have those exclusivity terms in there because otherwise you'll pay a lot of money in fees to accountants, to lawyers, to other advisors and the seller can literally go and one day change his mind and you already paid your fees and you don't want, you don't want that to happen because those fees can be really expensive in the end of the day. That's it for today. Um, remember, like this video, subscribe if you didn't yet and see all the links in the description below on uh, just join us in our free Business Buying Mastermind on Facebook and help me with topics for um, other videos because I'm trying to post daily and really keep this channel, channel is engaged. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.